Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is probably only the second time that I've watched this movie. I'm not sure if I'm not mistaken. I did watch this movie once from beginning till end, um, maybe sometime in 2011. No, not 2011, 2014 I guess. But I did watch this movie, a clips of the movie on cable before that. However, I think the only time that I've actually watched it um, from beginning till end, like tonight, sorry, like today afternoon, was uh, uh, back in 2012 or 2000, 2014, I guess. So this is Constantine, the 2005 movie, which is a superhero horror film ba loosely based on the DC Comics Hellraiser comic books and thing. I just know he's a character on uh, uh, character in uh, DC Comics and um, more recently they also made a television series about uh, based on the character however it only lasted for one season the character did go on to legends of tomorrow for a couple of seasons before he got killed off this time it's keanu reeves so uh can this movie sorry stars keanu reeves as john constantine he also have rachel weiss shia labeouf uh, uh tilda swinton Pruitt Taylor Wins, I do not know how you pronounce that name, Digimon Hunsu, uh, Gavin Rossdale of the lead singer of Bush, uh, and Peter Stormare who plays Lucifer. Uh, yeah, and so basically Constantine, John Constantine is this, uh, he is a very cynical exorc uh, exorcist um, who fights, uh, you know, uh, basically he can see and communicate with half angels and half demons in their true forms and he can travel between earth and uh, hell. The depiction of hell in this movie is pretty much what I would have thought it kind of looked like. <laughs> and that's very interesting. Uh, although I must say that the the this is 2005, I don't think the, the CGI really holds up as much, but still uh, the depiction definitely is. Is something that I would have actually expected. He is also cancer ridden. He smokes a lot of cigarettes, but he is cancer ridden. So he tries to save people as much as he can, send the demons, uh, half demons back, uh, and you know, do does these exorcis exorcisms. Um, he also, I mean, when the movie starts, you see him exercising a demon from a young girl, and he sees it trying to come through her. To earth uh, and that's not sub supposed to be possible because there's a treaty between heaven and hell uh, between um, the angels and God and uh, Lucifer and his demons that only half breeds can come through uh, something like that so suffer he you know he tries to get uh, the half breed angel Gabriel which I did not know I mean maybe in the comics he's half sorry she is half breed um, but she's supposed to be a really powerful angel he asks for uh, some extension of his life because he knows he's dying, but because he's been working to get rid of hell's forces, he asks for some help. And then there is this thing about, you know, uh, he can't get into heaven because he is doing what are he, I mean, she says, uh, all the good deeds that he's doing is because he can find, squeeze his way back into heaven, sorry, squeeze his way into heaven, and that's not actually how it works. Uh, there's also in, uh, Angela Dodson, who is played by Rachel Weisz. She is investigating the death of her twin sister, who was in a psychiatric unit. She is uh, scared by something, and then she runs to the roof, and she jumps off, um, presumably committing suicide. But she knows that her sister was raised as a—I mean, she was a devout Catholic, and therefore committing suicide is a, is a, not a way that you can actually get to heaven. So she knows that she was possibly coerced or pushed or something has happened like that. So she's out to find the actual killer. She feels that Isabel, the twin sister, says the word Constantine. That's how she meets up with Constantine. And uh, he tells her about the demons uh, because he sees them at, um, you know, attacking her. Uh, and he's able to fend them off. And then he realizes, okay, there's something to see. He does see her uh, in hell and then confirms that Isabel has actually killed herself. But then uh, 
they tell, talk about her trauma, she could actually see supernatural creatures, much like John Constantine, because he could see, uh, you know, scary demons, uh, people who are, I mean, demons who are uh, disguised as humans and all that stuff, half-breeds. So, um, basically, he needs, uh, you know, weapons to try and help them out. Um, and that basically is the fight, uh, trying to get, stop the uh, demons from actually coming in. Um, who is, uh, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> um, they tell that there's a symbol that represents the uh, Mammon, oh, Mammon, <laughs> who's supposed to be the Antichrist, uh, Lucifer's son, and he uh, wants to, you know, uh, usurp his father and then take over uh, hell and then conquer earth so that's the entire plan so you get all this fight between good and evil uh, I must say Peter Stomare only has got a small role in this movie he plays the most sleazy I would say of Lucifer's I've ever seen uh, plays him like an older man um, I would have actually thought they would have put uh, you know like God as a more older person but here Lucifer is basically and he wants John, uh, John Constantine's soul, and he wants to personally come and take it. Something about him stepping onto the, uh, you know, coming out to the ground, stepping in, and this kind of slick oil form, uh, uh, leave uh, like you know, oil residue from his feet. Something about it, and uh, you know, that's really good. Uh, anyway, fight between good and evil, angels, demons, and all that stuff. It's a little bit on but I really like this film uh, it's it's something about he I know a lot of people don't like the fact that they say that uh, Keanu Reeves is a little bit wooden that's not the way over here it's over here he does it he he's perfect in this role he would have I would have loved to have seen more John Constantine movies with Keanu Reeves in the had this movie made a little bit more money I guess it would have uh, they would have probably done sequels I'm not sure but I really do think that he would have, and in fact, I'm not mistaken, he's planning one, or there are talks about doing a second John Constantine movie. The movie was made on a budget of somewhere between 70 to 100 million dollars. It made 230.9 million dollars at the box office. I'm guessing that's the reason why we haven't seen a new one. Uh, Rachel Weisz is Rachel Weisz. She's always pleasant to look at on the screen. I love seeing her uh, along with Keanu Reeves. Shia LaBeouf, before the guy went, <laughs> Uh, he plays Chas Kramer, who is an apprentice to John as well as his uh, taxi driver kind of thing. And uh, he wants to also help. Uh, he's got a strong uh, interest in the occult, but he gets killed towards the end. Gabriel, creepy Gabriel, uh, an archangel with a dis he, She doesn't like humanity, basically. And she's actually in cahoots with uh, the Antichrist to unleash hell on earth. Yeah. yeah. Um, Digimon also plays uh, Papa Midnight, a former witch doctor who once fought against hell. Um, basically reading it out of here. And uh, he is now neutral, so he will not support either side. And but yeah, he will guide you in certain things. And Gavin Rossdale plays Balthasar, a half-breed demon with a special interest in trying to kill constantly. They've got a history between them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically about it. I really wish they could have, we could have got a lot more about this film. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's very entertaining. Um, nice to see Keanu Reeves, um, you know, wreck havoc on uh, the demons and angels. Sorry, yeah, one angel basically, but on the half-breeds and all that stuff. Really good. That kind of role, I think, really suited him even more than John Wick, which is odd to say because John Wick is... John Wick, it's... It's amazing. But I think Constantine was uh, a really good role for him as well. And I really enjoy this movie. I wish they had made a couple of movies since then. But we can always hope. I know he's getting on. Uh, he's, I don't know, what, 54, 55 right now? Hopefully get uh, a couple of John Constantine movies squeezed in sometime. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, one of the scenes that really like this movie is when uh, Satan uh, has to let go of John. Uh, because uh, he does a, a unselfish deed and he is getting to hell 
sorry, heaven, but uh, he pulls him back and tells him he's extending the life and he sucks out the cancer, sucks out all the bad stuff from his insides and, you know, it comes out. Ugh, that was disgusting, but yeah, really cool at the same time. All right, so eight out of 10 for me. Thank you. Good night.